try to use my time wisely when I go on these walks. It's like every Thursday when I do these walks, I do these update videos because it's a way for me to do that. And it means I just, I don't have to record it outside of that time. But I've also, as you've seen in a lot of my videos, I'm wearing headphones. I listen to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts. A lot of them are to do with self-development or kind of business books. And it does, it just stimulates the mind. So you're not always just in your own kind of echo chamber, especially if you work for yourself and you spend a lot of time alone. Having this time, getting new ideas and just kind of refreshing the mind and not constantly just thinking about work and other things like that. It gives you time to be a bit more creative. But one thing that I've been trying to do is trying to be even more effective. So yes, I'll kind of do these types of videos, still listening to other audiobooks, etc. But sometimes when it comes to writing blog posts and all that for the business or coming up with ideas for YouTube videos, and sometimes you know, sitting in front of a computer screen, just staring at that cursor. I could sit there for ages and not write a word. Or if it does come out, that's very formal, not the kind of conversational style that I would prefer. So I've been, I, I, I had been doing this a few years ago and then I kind of stopped. I don't know why, but this is why I find I can get my ideas out in those. I find them a lot easier. Some videos are scripted, but a lot of them just have bullet points just to try and keep me on track. And I can just talk about that topic. So I can talk my ideas out, but trying to write them down can always be a bit of a struggle. So what I've been trialing this week, especially as I'm working on a new version of my website and I needed to write some copy for some of my services, is while I'm doing these walks, I've got this mic on, but connected to my phone. And I use an app called Otter and it's like a transcription app. And I must say, it is very good. It does catch 99.9% of the, the words that I say. It, it is pretty, pretty accurate. And while I'm walking, I can just talk those ideas out and it will transcribe everything in real time. And yeah, you know, I did this for my new about page, some of the other services. And for the my about story, I spoke for 15, 17 minutes, something like that. Now, yes, it's there's a lot of ideas in that copy that gets generated but what I then do is I take it and I actually do use chat GPT and I just paste that whole kind of transcription in there and I've done a lot of work with chat GPT so it does know my tone my voice that type of thing my ideas the type of client that I'm trying to attract etc the ideal client profile and I put a lot of that copy in there and I just ask it to structure that content in a more readable format so using uh, titles, subtitles, different headings and all, all of that in there so that it is structured for the website or for anything else that I want to use that for. And I must say, I'm getting some really decent results and it is still in my, in my tone. It's used the words that, I, that I've used, some of my kind of catchphrases as well. So it does really work. I'm not saying it's perfect. You might still need to go in there and then edit a few bits and pieces, but using this process, I'm 90% done, which is better than nothing. So if you are struggling with writing copy for anything, and I'm going to be using this for my blog posts, I also used it to create some social media posts and, and things like that as well. And it's just allowing me to get those ideas out and not just staring at a, a blank piece of paper or screen and uh, writing more formally. I don't know why, but sometimes when I write stuff, it just comes up more formal, not conversational. So actually just talking to myself and if someone actually walk past me they'll think of it crazy but maybe that's uh, been a little bit more of the the norm these days with people taking selfies and creating their own videos for social media maybe it's a bit more of the norm now no one's actually come up to me and asked me what i'm doing so uh, maybe they're just too scared to but yeah I, it's, I just found that another way to use this time while i'm walking so it's kind of a, a triple whammy i'm getting the, the walks in refreshing my mind with the audio books and podcasts but now creating other types of content in written form, not just video. So hopefully I can be a bit more prolific with creating that type of content for the business.